G'day, this is Oz ADV Rider. Today I'm going to do a vlog challenge that I saw on uh, Moto Rambling's channel this morning. He got it from Goofy Bastard. So g'day to Patrick and to Goofy Bastard. Now the challenge is uh, to do a 7 to 10 minute vlog with no editing. Uh, it's supposed to be just one camera. I actually have two going. I've got this one pointing back at me that I use when I'm vlogging and this one's just for the microphone. And the picture quality is pretty shit on this one. So I'm not usually into these uh, challenges, but I like the sound of this one. I do want to improve my vlogging this year. What I've found with vlogging videos is I don't get a lot of views, but the interaction's a lot better with the comments. Um, with the riding videos, people are just, you know, hey, great ride, great video, that kind of thing. But the vlogs, people are actually interested in what you're talking about. And there's um, some backwards and forwards in with people, which I quite enjoy. So it's a lot more personal. So what I was going to talk about today, oh, just a sec. Just to make this challenge a little more interesting for me, I'm going to be riding on dirt roads. Now if you've vlogged while on dirt, you know that you tend to trail off a lot because you just get distracted by the road. If you can hear that, that's me sliding in the gravel. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what I was going to talk about today is how I started YouTube and why I'm still on it. Which is something uh, Moto Ramblings talked about fairly recently too. Just a quick courtesy thing, if you are going to follow, um, if you are going to copy somebody's video ID, give them a shout out and put a link up to their channel or their video. Don't just copy it outright and uh, claim it as your own. Anyway, getting off topic here. So the reason I started YouTube was uh, when I bought the V-Strom. I started exploring, uh, found all these cool places and cool tracks and I wanted to share it with people. So I bought a camera. I had no intention of talking on the videos. Uh, if you know me, I'm a pretty quiet sort of guy. But um, yeah, it doesn't take long and you realize how boring the videos are. Um, the first thing I actually bought was a microphone for the bike just to have bike sound with it. But uh, even, yeah, it gets pretty boring quick anyway. That's what I'm getting at. So I bought myself a cheap headset and started doing some commentary. It was pretty ordinary. The audio was pretty crap, but um, it was a start. So yeah, I've slowly built up. My channel's been going for oh, maybe three and a half years. The videos were pretty shit to start with, so I'm slowly getting better. But uh, what I've found, why I'm still on YouTube, Partly it's because of, um, you know, you get the likes, the views, the comments. Um, I've made great friends on YouTube from all around the world. People like uh, Patrick. Um, Tommy over in Norway. G'day, Tommy. Um, uh, Rick Reasoner, he's been, um, he comments on a lot of my videos. Um, now, now, I've lost what I'm talking about. Yeah, so that's a big part of it. Um, this is going to turn into a blooper video instead of a one-take video. But I've actually found I've really enjoyed the uh, creative outlet. Excuse me, I'm just going over some corrugations. Um, yeah, I've always wanted a creative outlet, and um, I've never been good at art. I can't draw for crap, and I tried. Uh, I'm into a whole lot of my music, and I've tried to learn guitar. I've been learning that for about 30 years, and I still can't play. So, never really found something I'm into. I was in. I could do, I should say. But um, once I got into editing videos, I've found the process quite soothing. Soothing is that the right word? I found it to be a good creative outlet. I quite enjoy it. Um, yeah, I never really expected that when I started. It was just about sharing some rides. Oh yeah, we're going down a steep bit and it's rocky. Normally I'd stand up, but you don't want to be looking at my crutch, do you? I can't edit it out. Right, oh, we'll just duck down here, have a quick look at the water. Oh, no, don't worry about it. We'll go up this way. Right yeah, we're gonna go uphill. 
very fast. <laughs> yeah, so this morning was a bit of a funny day for me. I was uh, all prepared to do a bigger ride today. I got up at about five o'clock, and then just as I got up to get ready to, to start getting ready to go for a ride, I just something told me no, don't do it. And um, yeah, maybe it was just because I felt shit and I was so tired. But uh, yeah, it's a bit, a bit weird. Um, So I ended up just staying at home for the time being and um, it was actually quite overcast this morning and not very pleasant looking, it's cleared up nice now. So yesterday I was spent uh, looking at houses, we've got to move, if, if you do follow my channel you'll know that I've uh, got evicted from our house, they're selling it, so we looked at three houses yesterday, one of them was absolutely shit, um, there's no way I'd put food in that oven. <laughs> The next one wasn't bad, it was a lot cleaner at least, but um, yeah, it wasn't ideal. There's three of us going to be living in the house. And then the next one was quite good, so we put an application in for that, so hopefully it goes through. There was at least three other groups of people there, and they heard them all say they liked the house, so we'll just have to see what happens. But uh, yeah, it's starting to get a bit worried, we're starting to run out of time. There's not that many houses available. Some of the places we've looked at, there's been like 10 to 20 groups of people and you're all shuffled in together and shuffle around the house and get spat back out. It's not much fun. Oh yeah, we've got some very nice views over there. What I'll do, if I can find the spot, I'll pull up and give you a look at the view. Remembering I don't want to be swapping between cameras. Oh, sorry, there is going to be some dead space in this video though. So I was really happy with my last video, the uh, exploring Rubicon one. I'm trying to improve my storytelling and my writing videos. So I was quite happy with that one. There's a bit of shaky footy, footage in there. But overall, I was quite happy with it. I thought I had a nice mix of commentary, drone footage, music. Oh, where is this spot? A bit more to go. I usually end up riding straight past it. So yeah, I'm really trying to improve on that storytelling part of things. Uh, I really like doing the ride-by footage, but it's a lot of mucking around with that. You stop, set up the camera, ride backwards and forwards a couple of times. Ah, oh, there, no it's not. Um, yeah, then go back and get your camera. Uh, if you want to see really great ride-by footage, check out uh, Mid Coast Adventures. He does it really well. Phil makes beautiful videos, he goes to really beautiful spots. He makes great videos, so yeah, check him out. Well, there it is. I'm just padding now, aren't I? Oh, what a... So I have Sugarloaf Reservoir that side, and up here is a beautiful view of Yarra Glen, looking out towards Hillsville and the mountains where I do most of my riding. Oh, sorry, you did get a view of my crotch. Right, let me turn you around. You're not allowed to change between cameras, but I'm sure you're allowed to move the camera you've got. There we go, check that out. It's turned out a beautiful day. Right, hey guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, yeah, hope I did. <laughs> Hope I did alright. Just remember there's no editing in this video so she's pretty rough. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.